Right. Good morning, everyone. And for those that you do follow the Brightwells, it's supposed to be a leisure sale tomorrow. Um, which is, when they say leisure, it's campers. They've got a few in, there's one over there. And uh, there's a few in the line up over there. There's a few there. Not many, like. Two over there, there's that Fiat and that VW. We don't know whether they're in yet. We assume the VW is, but we're not sure about the Fiat. The Fiat is a six-legger. That means it's got six wheels on it. But the back ones are in line, not side by side. Right, we'll start on this side. This one's been in for quite a few weeks now. It's uh, already got 42,000 on them o'clock. And I suppose that's why they're asking so much for it. It is a, a, a nine-seater bus, so it is in absolutely pretty good condition. And uh, there's 57 plate, we've got a 57 plate transit, front wheel drive by well, Luke. Yep. Um, 134,000 on an 07. Looks like it's got the uh, the booklet with it manual windows he is a sort of a baseline medium no he's a um, short wheel he's short wheel based but he's semi high he's got the extra piece on the roof so showing a few signs of uh, the grot around the uh, arches as normal yeah a few scratches on the bumper expected back door looks open, I'll just try it. Yeah, it is open. It is lined out, but it's not very well. That's got to come out. They've tried painting it. Ceiling hasn't been lined. It's got a steel bulkhead. And, uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Tidy enough. It's not been knocked about that much in there. Yep. It's only the 85. It's only got the smallest motor in there. Uh, yeah, a bit, bit of a must around the arch again, but poor decision. There's this one in again, this is 60 plate, um, with a big, big dent in the side. Again, I think they're asking too much. It is a baseline, it's got PVC seats in it. it must be a twist on the door because the door's up tight there, and down the bottom, stuck out. It's only got 56, well, as good as 57,000 on the clock, low mileage. That's been in for a few weeks running though. We've got a pick up. With only 78,000 on the clock. Got this uh, um, 62 plate transit. Go faster stripes on it. Got glass in the back. It's uh, only a short wheelbase, low roof, so, and it's front wheel drive, short wheelbase, and it's got 104,000 on the clock. And it's got the uh, the Draylon seats, better seats. Um, oh, it's got cruise control on the steering on the on the steering wheel, so I don't know whether it has or not. It says it's a limited edition, so. It might be the trend, I don't know. It's got the trend wheels on it, so it possibly is a trend. Yeah, it, well, it just says limited, it doesn't say trend. It's the 125, that's a big motor for a little tiny van. Limited, in black, no glass this side, and there's all the dents and the ripples from throwing stuff inside. It's got chrome door handles on, afterthought. It's got the cruise control on the wheel, it's got uh, auto lights, auto wipers, so it, it is as good as a, a, a trend. Yeah, it is as good as a trend. It's not too bad actually. No real heavy marks that I can see on it, other than that they've thrown stuff against the sides without having it boarded. I don't suppose it's open for one minute. No. Uh, anyway, that's on a 62 plate. Got a ladder rack on. We've got this um, Renault. 
It's master Bullock, yeah. Yeah, three and a half tonner on a 60 plate. It's a big van, that. Big, nice van. Yeah. No dents on that side. No rust on the trims. It's got the new, the new front on it. Hundred and seventy two thousand, as good as hundred and seventy eight, uh, hundred and seventy three thousand. Two thousand and ten. Seats are ever so grubby. Dashboard looks tidy enough. Steering wheels as mouldy as hell. So I don't know where that one's from. Doesn't say on there where it's from. Private entry, I expect. Yeah. There's no dents or dings on him. That is pretty good for that. Yeah, the back doors are are uh, uh, that that door has been hit. I don't know if you can see the dent there. All right, which is then forced it out of the top. So he's nice, he's nice and flush there. Big dent, and the bumpers at it as well. Where it looks, so that could have transmitted into the chassis leg. Don't know. Peel the doorway at the top. Lights broken. So, uh, Right, we've got another transit, uh, custom transit. Alloy wheels on it. Same alloys as the one my van. What have we got there? 136,000. And this is a limited as well. Tidy enough in there. Just a bit dirty. Yeah. But again, they're only short wheelbase slow tops majority of the customs are. Um, we've got this uh, 04 Renault again. Um, it's the traffic. It's the 100. 151,000 on the clock. But the advantage over it, it's got the high roof on it. I don't say it's a rare item. Right. Now, all the way down this side, it's got oil wheels on it. But all the way down this side, it's missing all the trims. And as you can see, that's why they rust, is because the trims look, they go direct in there. They just rely on that little tiny plastic gator around those clips to stop the water going in there when they got the clip. It's the same with the sprinter, and that's where they start rusting from. Uh, that one started to rust. And that's where they start to rust from, is around those trims. It's got a tight gauge on the arch there. Bloody good tyres on it. Broken back like this side. It's all stoved in on the back end. So, you know, it's a little project. I, I'm going to say, uh, I've changed my mind on it. I say leave it. That stove there makes it look, I don't know whether you can see it in the camera, but there's ripples up the side of the van. So I reckon he has had the chassis. That moves it. If you're going to go for something like that, don't bid a lot for it. That, that just doesn't look right. That's way out. Right. And there's no more in that line as yet. But, we got this Peugeot here. He's a Boxster and he's a bus. 142,000 as good as. 2008 bus upholstery. It's got the bus upholstery. And if I remember rightly, there I think there was a heater in this one, but it's got the inner panel, and that is out because it's got no inner wheel arches. I don't know whether you can see that in there. I showed it last week. I think they're just asking too much for how much damage is done on it. So I'm trying to hold my uh, cost of coffee as well at the same time. <coughs> but otherwise, the van looks uh, real nice. I, the van looks a nice van, and for a boxster. And I, I showed you last week that the, the driver side wheel arch is the same as the passenger side, but there is a diesel eater in it, and uh, both both the, the main exhaust and the diesel eater exhaust come out this side. You've got signs of. Uh, the rust coming along the trims. Got the advantage over it, it's got the glass in all the way around. 
got a little convoy here, LDV convoy. No glass in this side, but it's got glass all the way down the other side. He's on a... Oh, he's on Irish plates. Dent on the arch there. A light outside the door. There's no sticker in it yet. The windows are blacked out. Oh, I can just about see in. There's absolutely nothing in the back, it's just carpeted. The walls are all carpeted. Let's have a look if, if he is open. No, he ain't, he ain't open on that door anyway. But uh, he is eye top. Well up on the suspension. And I can't remember, I think these... I'm 99% sure these had the, uh, the transit engine in them. So, transit engine and all the running gear. Don't quote me on that one, but I think they do. So, uh, yeah. Let's have another look at the in there. Ah. Well, I'm starting to walk down. Here we have this bus back in again. Got a tail lift on it. I don't know whether you can see in there. Big load area in the back. Again, all the seats have been un unclipped and are on the floor. Yeah. So I don't know what's wrong inside that one. It's not open. It's a big uh, Iveco bus, though. It is big. Diesel heater in it. It's got the diesel heater. There's the exhaust. Again, we, don't, we never know if they work. Oh, we've got a ex-police uh, sprinter. Um, this is the 515 CDI. Step on the back with sensor, reversing sensors in it. Um, again, where they put the uh, cages to go over the lights. They never treated it when they put the uh, uh, rib nuts in there. And, uh, yes, the rust rust that around on the arches is from where, if, I don't know whether you can quite see it when you get my finger in there, you can see the Stanley knife marks. When they put the stickers on they trimmed it with a Stanley knife and they're rusting up from those. A little bit on the arch there, a little bit there. It says Warwickshire Police on the side. Yeah, It's the medium wheelbase, I believe, it's the medium wheelbase. And, uh, yeah, again, yes, that, that's all rusted from, I don't know whether you can quite see it, from where they had the standing knife and cut it along, cut the, the, the stickers when they put the uh, stripes on it, they cut the stripes to fit the door, and that's why that's rusted. I should imagine that that's not far off going all the way through. Yeah. Got the marks where the cage was. Uh, it's on a 2008. Yeah. It's got polycarbonate in all the windows. Yeah, polycarbonate on all the windows. I can't quite see inside. Anyway, moving on to the next one. It's got a little red. Uh, no, it's not the traffic. It's the same as the traffic, but. Uh, the Vauxhall version, isn't it? Can't see him. So yeah, it's empty in the back. It's just empty, and it's on uh, 12 plate. <coughs> Reversing sensors, double side loading door. It's got steel wheels on, not a, not all those wheel trims. Yeah, it is the Vauxhall. Seats look tidy enough. No sticker in it yet, so I can't tell you what the mileage is. Is the 2900. Yeah. Another Vauxhall Bavaro there. Which, are, you know, they're, they're, they're both the same van, just different badges. That one's the uh, Peugeot, that one's the Bavaro, uh, the, the Vauxhall. Yeah. Then we 
both be boxers. Anyway, short wheelbases, low tops. Got this Toyota. I think it's, is it, are they high ace? I don't know what they're called, the Toyotas. Got a massive tow bar on it. Rust coming in around the windows. He's empty inside. Yeah. Not very tall though. Big wheels. No sticker in it yet. Yeah. Phone holder. Another Vauxhall, is it? I don't know. When there's a three, they have three in the same time. Yeah, another Vauxhall. This one's got glass in the side that can't quite see in. Mm, the seats look tidy enough. No sticker in yet, so I can't give you the mileage. It's got the, uh, you can see where the stickers were on it. Uh, this is X Police. It's on a 12 plate, that one. Got a transit. All the badges are missing. Step on the back. Can't see. Don't know whether it's X Police or not. Again, that's usually where the transits uh, tend to go. It's just on the front of those wheel arches. So it's a fair trap inside there. And it, people just don't get that dirt out. If you get that dirt out every time, um, it won't rust. Yeah, there's a cage in the back, so it is X Police. Cage in the back, two facing, rear facing seats, three seats in the front, electric windows, radios missing. What's that on? That's on our 11 plate. So he's, he's a low roof, medium wheelbase. And we've got this uh, Vauxhall M Mavaro. A few dings and dents in it. Decent tyres. Alright, it's not too bad. I never looked at the age of it. Hang on, I'll check now. Yeah, he's on a 54 plate. That's why he's got so many dings and a dent in the bonnet there. Had a crunch on that wing there. Sidever is not too bad until you get to there. And then she's had uh, a dent all the way down that sill. So, uh, all in all, there's not, not an awful lot here this week. goes for good for that one is he's got decent wheels on him decent tires on him uh, right that's uh, that's all the big bands I'll move over onto the layer side now oh of course we've got two ex police trailers tower trailer this is the leisure side I'm not sure if that silver dark dark grey transit is coming in I'm not sure no it's not no, it's not. Right, we've got an 07 Transit. We'll have, should have the 140 PS motor in it. It's a big old van. Yeah, it doesn't say if it's got the 140 in it, but I would have said it has. It's only got 42,000 on the clock. Standard Transit seats. So, uh, dual battery. Yeah. I'll, I'll lift you up to see if you can see in. Again, it's got the uh, personnel door on the uh, driver's side, so when you get out of it, if you pull up in a lay by, you get out of it into the flow of traffic. It's the only thing that goes down when they uh, put uh, continental bodies onto these transits. You know, they, they, they have it on the. That would have been on the passenger side, see, with uh, if it was in a left hand drive. Oh, we've got this old, uh, I was going to call it an old nail, but I, I, I class it as an old nail. This old Fiat. It is rusty. It is rusty. It's been in quite a few times. It's imported, it's left hand drive. It's got the 2.5 in it. All the, all the windows are clouded and... Yeah, it's all stoved in on this corner. It's, damp as hell I expect in there. It's covered in silicon. Yeah. Even all the joints 
around the roof lines. It's all been siliconed up, especially around there. Uh, there's one of these trailers. I was after one of these a long time ago, but they've always been so bloody expensive. Oh my. Well, we got this uh, flare, flare, flare. Just look at the seats in there. I don't think you can see in there. Look at those seats. Look at the depth of the dashboard. <laughs> ah, again, the, it's left hand drive and the, uh, the personnel doors on the far side, so you step out into the main flow of traffic. We've got this uh, short wheelbase, low top transit. It has got a sink and a bed and a rock and roll, rock and roll bed. I showed you this one last week. Only got the little tiny 75 PS engine in it, which is one of the smallest ones because he's a Mark VI. It's the smallest engine. He's on an 03. This one's a fresh one in, with a Mercedes. There's me talking into my Costa coffee. Chrome headlight trims. He is right hand drive. But he's still again, he's got the personnel door on the driver's side. Okay, if you're on continent, right? Taking it over the continent, great. Leather seats. Yeah, leather upholstery in the back as well. It's a big dashboard. It is huge in there. On a single wheel. Yeah, you know, it's a big old van to be on single wheels. It's on an 09. Yeah, massive garage in the back. The door for the garage. I never noticed if it went all the way through. So I just imagine the bed's on top of it. Yeah, the garage goes right through. Well, and that's all the leisure vehicles so far. Well, I'll just stop you there whilst I walk around to see the little vans, see how many of those there are. Well, I'm not allowed to film inside, but there's another uh, Renault there, ambulance, and a mobile police office, and two box ambulances in there being de stickered. They're not in this week. They are not a year on this week's. <coughs> I'm just coming over because there's this. Uh, is it a Fiat? I think it's a Fiat. Maybe we'll see in there. It's on an old R Ridge. Cooker, sink, fridge over the other side. Bed there. Diesel eater, but it looks warm. Propex, most probably. Yeah, he's a Peugeot Boxster. It's not the Fiat, he's a Peugeot Boxster. All matching up upholstery. I expect he's on this side because he's uh, unlocked here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Smells like a prostitute's hand back. It's got a, what you call it, reversing cam mirror. Bad little tiny van like, but LED lighting, overhead storage, it's got a roof like that end, an extractor that end, cooking end, isn't it? Mm. Auto sleeper on the side, auto sleeper, symphony. Oh, yeah! I want... Sir, hang on. Yeah, big tow bar on it, though. So... Uh, I don't know. I spotted this Land Rover with a big box on the roof. Skinny wheels. 
steps. He's all misted up, I can't see inside. These black tape windows are thin. Uh, nothing in him. There's nothing in him. Just some railing. Keep here. You got a big roof on him, that's what I was looking at. The interior light's stuck on for some reason. Yeah, you just got bench seats. Being as I've walked this far, yeah. Start off with a transit connect. Use the eye roof, long wheelbase, no, medium wheelbase. Oh, he is a long wheelbase, yeah, he is a long wheelbase. Only one side loading door. Good bloody BP tyres on it. Transit Connect, got the 90 PS motor in it. Par parrot, uh, hands free on it. Oh, it's a pretty boy then. Mm, got another one here. Well, this one's got twin siding loading doors with glass. Reversion sensors in the bumper. A decent step bumper. Triple, triple seat in the middle there. Cage in the back. No sticker in it, so I don't know what it is. Five speed. Uh, the uh, dashboard's been mucked about with a bit. Radio's missing. This one's on a 56. That one was on a 10. Yeah. Five speed again. Uh, these are two low roof ones. And another transit connect there on a 59. Uh, those are diamond white, these are polar white. Radio's in on this one. Yeah. This is the, uh, the same van, but it's the high roof. Glass in the back doors. And double side loading door. Big dent there. You see where they've had the stickers. And that's it in the little vans. Another transit connect. I do believe they're all ex police, I'm not 100% sure. So that's all we got then for this week. So don't forget, going live quarter to 11 tomorrow. And uh, then the following week, I'm moving it over to the other channel. Um, there'll just be a notification on the one, Wandering Wombles channel and it'll be Womble at uh, Brightwells on the other channel and I'll be doing the live on that channel. Uh, I'm only saying that because I've got an awful lot of videos to get out from where I went to Hope over the weekend, uh, up the Peak District the weekend and as I said I wanted to keep Wandering Wombles channel to itself. Right, cheers. I showed you this one last week because it was down the bottom compound but he is open but <laughs> there's no doors uh, again they've cut just cut the cables cut the cable don't know what that is oh I hope it's forwards well, that's right if you drive off the window blows that shut Oh yeah. Oh. So all the controls there and it looking at it, it leaks like a sieve. It leaks like a sieve along there. That's the D's liter down there which is all broken up. Yeah. It's all carpet lined. Alright, interior lights been pushed in. Yeah, there's the heights and the length and the width. There's your 240 RCD unit. And then we move it into the back, we've got sink. So if there's a tap there, that means there's a water pump. No, nope, it's all been taken out. It's all been taken out. Um, roof lining all the way through. Overhead box there. Seats missing there. Nice big laser battery there. 13 amp socket inside the seat. 
If I go all the way down to one side first. Alright. So it is in Athens. Alright, you've got stretchers here. Stretchers, stretchers. Cast ball carrier. Oh, geez. Bloody big, nice, nice, lightweight aluminium. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not a ramp, it's not a, a lift, it's a ramp for pushing wheelchairs in. You've got the oxy line all the way around the outside, so you've got several takeoffs. There's there's another takeoff there that, that goes all the way around this side. I don't know what's in the cupboard, just check. Just the cupboard. Got a bed, under lock, under bed storage. A little bit narrow though, isn't they? Eh? You wouldn't get uh, many big people on those. Under box storage there. Then you've got all the units on this side. Oxygen masks and oxygen tubing. It's all stored in that cupboard. <laughs> yeah, just another cupboard there. It looks like that's where the heater is. Down under there somewhere. So I'm. Um, don't think he's going to come open. Oh yes. So I'd say the heater was underneath that. I would say. But anyway, got quick clamp down rails for clamping wheelchairs or chairs or whatever. I like it. I like it. It's a big old van though. Um, if I stand up behind the driver's seat and I'll count out the wobble steps, is one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps long inside. All got dang lighters and fluorescence. Yeah, that is tidy. Like it. Um, he's only a five speed. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. Fire, uh, yeah, auto fire extinguisher in the front. Got the pipe work through to the engine. Just like they do on the rally cars. The uh, front off radio is down there. The radio there. Yeah. There's lots of little little things on it. Right. I do believe the suspension goes down over time, but that's air. It runs off the motor anyway. So, right. They're uh, they're not side by side. They're one in front of the other. So it spreads the load better. Here's a big old van. I like it. I don't think that one's open. Oh, it is. Yep, yeah, there's your ramp. As you see, it just folds out. Is that a slight crunch on that corner there? Because, of course, they've got fiberglass bodies on them. I think that's aluminium. No, that's fiberglass as well. Yeah, glass all the way down the side. Yes, it is glass. Not perspex. One, two, three opening windows this side. And I, I know it's running okay, it's just driven here. They've driven it from the car wash to here. Got two lads washing full time here. So, yeah, it's got three opening windows this side. And a power input. Two opening windows this side, because it's got the door. And a power input this side, it's either a power in or out. Let's have a look. That's a power out. So the power in lets on the other side in the same place. We've got the box on the top, really had an ambulance in it. So all in all, wants a new cover on it because it's got it taped up yet. Yeah, there's the power input. Right. I don't know what the lock's for. The tires are all okay on it. There you go. That's all I can do on that one. St. John's as well. St. John's? Yep. Right. Yeah, it's only getting them from, but... Right. Got a few of them. This has done nothing. Much. Absolutely nothing. Right. Obviously there's a battery problem because he's jumping it but it could have been just he's been stood such a long time. St. John's. Oh nothing wrong with that. Oh look at that. 
that is? 22,000. 22, That's bugger all. Yeah. He's five cylinder as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's five cylinder. Yeah. Age? Yeah, age. Is it a charity thing, John? Yep. Yeah, it's charity. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Oh, you can go blankets. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't touch them. Yeah. Ugh. Hey, two feet rear facing. All the rest are forward facing. And you've got all the clamp downs with seat belts for the uh, wheelchairs. Uh, that's an electric uh, wheelchair lift. I should imagine the battery that's in there. Let's just check. No, that's where all they store them all. All those buckles. Carpeted right the way throughout. And I mean, it's running. And it's so quiet in here. Yeah. I like that. Loads more of those. Clamp downs. Yeah, look at that, 20, 21,985. First aid kit, I don't know. Face off radio, face off's in there. Yeah, that's good. Oh, he's always double side loading door as well. That's a big fan. Big spotlight in the corner. Maybe it's him off. Maybe it's him off. It looks like you'll only clip back in there though. Yeah, it'll only clip back in there. Does it work? Yes, look at that, it works. Yeah. Oh, overhead storage in there for some of it. Can't see what's in there. It's too dark. Some of it in there, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Of course, all these seats, look, they're on uh, clamp down, you can move them all. That those are bolted down, that far one bolted down. You can move all the single seats. All the outer seats are bolted, except the back one. And all those are bolted. And all the centre ones go down the middle. Okay, right. Thank you, Stu. Have to keep step hasn't come out, don't they? No, they're they're, they're manual. Are they? Yeah. It's 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 you do it one way or the other. Uh, yeah, I can't remember how. I think I think they just they do. They're not electric. If you've got a spanner, take him them off because I haven't got one on my van. Alright. <laughs> 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 yeah, there's, no, yeah, there's no dents or knocks in him. What? There's no dents or knocks in it. Alright. Yeah. Diesel eater in it. Yeah, that's. That's lovely. Look at Electric tail lift. There's no dents or bangs in that whatsoever. And as I say, it just starts. Look at that, there's not a dent on that side. Not a scratch, not a blemish of rust. Yeah, I like it. Alright, we can all put it in a lineup.